didn't get parked up the hill there, so I had to do my video here instead. But we're going to talk about this landscape behind me and how it forms. Now imagine, imagine a landscape much different from this today. As we spoke about before, you had the mountain building happening, where the two plates collided 450 odd million years ago, right? So as we discussed, the mountain building was squeezing all these rocks. You also had partial melting of the crust, which caused these beautiful granitic plutons to form, these magma chambers within the crust that fed supermassive volcanoes. And here in Glencoe, you had a volcanic setting, an absolute wonder of the world back then. You had explosive eruptions, which caused all this granitic magma to move through the crust and erupt at the surface as rhyolitic lavas. Now, rhyolite is an acidic kind of rock, and usually these kind of volcanoes are a lot different to basaltic kinds, where you would get a different setting, such as a rifting setting, where you have like basaltic lava. Here, the granitic magma that intruded through the crust and erupted at the surface caused these massive, big, explosive eruptions, which consisted of rhyolitic lavas as well as pyroclastic flows such as the ones that you've seen in Vesuvius in Italy today.